Oh, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. If you haven't done so already, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at bodybuilders then versus now. So in this video, I have compiled five different bodybuilders in their prime bodybuilding shape, and we're gonna see what they're looking like and what they're doing now. Now stick around to the end because we have a guy at the end who was a absolute freak, but he wasn't even an IFBB pro. So starting off this video, of course, we have to start with the Austrian Oak Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of the greatest bodybuilders our sport has ever seen and definitely transcended bodybuilding into a whole nother atmosphere. As you know, Arnold was a very famous actor, being Conan the Barbarian, the Terminator, many other roles. Arnold's just a very great guy. You know, Arnold has been kind of controversial in the media, but we aren't going to really talk about that in this video. You know, this is just about Arnold's physique, but this also isn't meant to be a history video, you know, it's more so just a comparison of the pictures and seeing what these guys are up to. Now, this is a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger with the late Dave Draper who passed last year. Arnold was incredible, man. As I said, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time and pretty much every bodybuilder, almost anyone that's picked up a weight has probably looked up to Arnold Schwarzenegger at some point. Now, what does Arnold look like now? This picture was actually taken probably about a year or two ago, and Arnold actually has some heart complications. He's a little bigger now, so I guess this was probably before the complications when Arnold was still training a lot and, you know, still staying pretty healthy. I'm not 100% sure if Arnold trains now, but still great to see Arnold around. You know, unfortunately, with the sport of bodybuilding lately, we have a lot of bodybuilders passing away early. So it's always great to, you know, see guys get to live out their life, you know. So just wanted to update you guys on Arnold Schwarzenegger, how he's doing. This is a picture with him and, of course, the diesel Shaquille O'Neal. And as you guys know, Arnold Schwarzenegger runs the Arnold Classic, which is the second biggest show in bodybuilding. I've actually been seeing recently, people said that if Arnold wanted to, if he just constantly pushed this show and added more prize money, it could potentially be bigger than the Mr. Olympia. What do you guys think about that? But this is him with Nick Walker, the 2021 Arnold Classic Champion, and him with the 2022 Arnold Classic Champion in the Classic Physique Division, Terrence Ruffin, who also won the title in 2021. But if you guys want to know what Arnold does now, he now lives his life out as a monk. You know, he calls himself Master Roshi. <laughs> but all jokes aside, uh, Arnold definitely enjoys a lot of bike riding. Arnold does a lot of different things, man. He's a very, very busy man, even still to this day. I'm glad that he still shows up at the Arnold Classic competitions. This is him just riding his bike through a bunch of various locations, man. Arnold is just, you know, he's just Arnold Schwarzenegger. He can pretty much do whatever he wants just because, you know, the status that he has. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about Arnold? Do you guys like Arnold, dislike Arnold? You know, a lot of people usually have mixed opinions about him. But Arnold will be actually in a Thor movie that is coming up in July, guys. I'm actually pretty excited for this movie. You know, this looks pretty incredible. I wish I could play the sound, but you guys have to go check it out because I don't want to get copyrighted on the channel. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of the greatest. And the next guy we're going to talk about is Ronnie King Coleman. Now, here's Ronnie Coleman accepting his Arnold Classic Award from none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. That's a lot of A's, guys. That's a lot of A's. <laughs> But Ronnie, great bodybuilder, man. As you guys know, he won eight Mr. Olympia titles, beating out Arnold Schwarzenegger's record of seven. But Lee Haney had already beat it in the 80s, winning eight consecutive. Ronnie, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, one of the strongest bodybuilders of all time. Actually, Ronnie is the greatest bodybuilder of all time. You know, I'll probably have Phil Heath or Dorian Yates second to him. And I can't talk about Ronnie Coleman without showing you guys this video of him squatting 800 solid ass pounds. And as you guys know, Ronnie Coleman would undergo probably 10 to 20 back surgeries after his career. And I think a lot of that actually had to do with another injury he suffered early in high school. But Ronnie Coleman did say he had one regret throughout his career. He think he could have squatted that 800 for five reps instead of two. You gotta love Ronnie Coleman, man. But here's running with Jay Cutler, a guy he battled it out with for eight years. Not really much of a battle, taking nothing away from Jay, but what does Ronnie Coleman look like now? Here's Ronnie Coleman now, and as I've said, he's had about 10 to 20 surgeries, numerous surgeries. His back is pretty much all in one piece. He actually had some bad surgeries that ended up falling apart, making the situation a lot worse. But Ron actually got some stem cell treatment, and I see him walking a lot more now. So this is actually a guest poser from when Ronnie Coleman was 50 years old. He's a bit older than that now, but 
just wanted to share it here guys you know it isn't the best but he's still a legend still gets a lot of respect and ronnie coleman is still training now i mean he loves it yeah buddy lightweight ain't nothing but a peanut you can't stop ronnie coleman man and ronnie coleman is still a motivation to us all to this day i still watch ronnie coleman for motivation so it's pretty much an update on what ronnie coleman is up to now now the next guy we're going to talk about is going to be jay cutler man one of the greatest of all time jay cutler would win four mr olympia titles of course after the reign of ronnie coleman this is the photoshopped picture from 2009 i just had to share it's so iconic but it is a bit photoshopped guys so here is the original picture from the 2009 mr olympia and if you guys are wondering was jay better in 2001 or 2009 i've actually done it on the channel so be sure to go check that out jay cutler also won a host of arnold classic titles i believe he won three or four a lot of people feel like chris cormier was robbed and he should have won at least one or two of those a whole different argument for an entirely different video jay definitely an incredible bodybuilder the best ambassador our sport has to this day if you want somebody to speak on bodybuilding it is going to be jay cutler now jay cutler was able to hold that title until the gill field heath would hit the scene 2011 field will win seven olympia straight and here is jay cutler in retirement with ronnie coleman and this actually wasn't too long ago i believe this was only about maybe about a month ago guys so jay cutler is actually noted as one of the guys who transitioned from bodybuilding the best a lot of people say they want to look like jay cutler when they you know stop competing from bodybuilding but they're just a testament of the genetics and you know the training as well i'm not sure i'm not sure jay had many injuries i've never really heard of jay having injuries I heard that Jay was a volume trainer, but I also know that he trained very heavy. But Jay looks incredible and, of course, is one of the best bodybuilders to transition to, you know, not being a bodybuilder anymore. So Jay Cutler said he still wants to downsize a little bit more, but Jay's looking good, man. And he still does a lot. As I said, he's one of the best ambassadors for the sport. You can catch him at Flex Lewis Dragon's Lairs Gym in Las Vegas. I believe Jay also lives in Las Vegas. Vegas is like the mecca of bodybuilding. There's a lot of guys there, you know, we have Milo Sarchev, Sean Roden, may he rest in peace, was also there a lot. So Jay Cutler is still very, very involved and everyone loves Jay. I think a big part of that has to do with Jay Cutler just being a great guy. You know, Jay always went to the guest poses. He always went to the meet and greets. Jay Cutler was a guy that really got a lot of his fans by, you know, meeting them, shaking hands, kissing babies, you know, looking them in the eyes. So a lot of respect for Jay Cutler. And here's Jay Cutler actually recently going through his office where he shows a plethora of awards man one of the greatest of all time definitely top five even with winning four olympia titles you can arguable arguably say that jay color is better than a couple of bodybuilders that won more olympia titles than him i'm not going to specify you guys can argue about that but here's jay color with his arnold classic titles man one of the greatest and jay color is still inspiring to guys today you know guys are still looking up jay color ronnie coleman Arnold Schwarzenegger motivational videos every single day. Now transitioning into the next guy, we're gonna talk about Marcus Rule, and here he is with a off-season chubby-cheeked Jay Cutler, man. Man, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This is definitely a fun video to put together, but this is one of the most iconic pictures in bodybuilding to me. This is Marcus Rule and Dennis Wolf, two of the guys with two of the best delts of all time, but in this image, the delts of Marcus Rule are just completely taking over the whole image, guys. And if you guys watch my recent Every Winner from New York Pro history, you guys will see that in the beginning, I included a video of Marcus Rule from the 2002 Night of Champions where he just looked freaky. But this is actually Marcus Rule from about 1998, 1999. Actually looks pretty good here. This is when he was a bit smaller. And this was a little bit later in his career. This was probably in 2002. Look at the biceps. This guy was just next level. Truly, truly a freak of nature in the sport of bodybuilding. Huge shout out to Marcus Rule. And here he is with Ronnie Coleman. These two guys are the two freakiest bodybuilders of all time. I'm pretty sure you can maybe add Paul DeLitt into the, not as far as winning bodybuilding shows, because of course Ronnie Coleman would destroy them, but just overall freak factor. And I'm not sure when this was, but I'm pretty sure this is when Marcus Rule was in retirement. So as you guys see, Arnold, well-loved in the bodybuilding community, pretty much everyone looked up to Arnold at some point if they still don't to this day. How does Marcus Rule look now? You guys tell me, shoulders still look huge, still wide as a house. 
Marcus isn't huge, you know, he's definitely downsized a lot from what he was, but just genetically, I'm pretty sure he's a bigger guy. And here's the latest, latest update that he put up. This is probably within the past two weeks of him with the Miracle Bear, Aries Kalasinski. And it's great to see, you know, the older generation passing down knowledge to the younger generation. And it's good seeing the younger generation, you know, accept the knowledge because, you know, a lot of guys, you know, I like to train my certain way. I like to work out my certain way, eat a certain way. A lot of guys don't like to take in information and be teachable, but... I'm glad that a lot of guys that are retired are reaching back to help. You know, instead of guys working with coaches who've only done one or two shows or maybe never even competed, why not work with a guy that was actually at the top of the sport? Little rant for the day. And the last guy we're going to talk about in this video is actually going to be Big Dave Palumbo. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys should be familiar with the YouTube channel RX Muscle, which is ran by Dave. Dave was a freak back in his day, being 300 plus pounds in the offseason. But Dave was never actually able to turn pro. I mean, for a lot of reasons, he didn't really have, I wouldn't say not the best physique, but he had a lot of flaws within his physique, probably because he was five foot seven, pushing 320 pounds in the off season. But Dave was definitely a very freaky bodybuilder. And he was also competing in an era where I think you were only getting one or two pro cards a year. You know, we had very, very competitive guys winning those pro cards. But unfortunately, Dave did father in Palumboism, and he is the father of Palumboism. I'm not sure what caused this. You know, a lot of people call it GH good combined with, you know, the mass amounts of eating food. But this isn't mean to put Dave down in any way. But Dave, we have to talk about Palumboism because you're the father of it. I hate to do it to you, Dave. But hey, as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. This was definitely a very, very fun video for me to make. Really enjoyed it. If you guys like this type of content on the channel, let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, it's free. If you're feeling generous, there's a button down there that says thanks and you can make a very small donation to the channel to help me become a full-time YouTuber just a little bit faster. I'm Krishan from Goat Fitness and I'm out.